This is ESPN Esports. I'm Ardo Kell here at the 2019 Capcom Cup with Luffy, uh, who is battling his way right now in day one through the loser's bracket. Uh, first, we got to talk about that incredible winner's bracket matchup against Fudo. Went right down to the wire last round of that last game. A lot of people had a tough time predicting that one even going into it. Uh, just take us through it. Mm. So yeah, my first match was against Fudo, which is a Japanese player. Uh, we have played uh, a lot of time uh, in tournament before this day. And every time he beat me like 2-0 or 3-0, like I never take a round. So this time I trained a lot uh, and I did what I could to train against Mika because it's a character which is pretty rare to see in tournament. So uh, it went down to the, to the wire, like it went on 3-2 last round, last man game, and he beat me this time 3-2. And of course I'm sad after losing, but I should, I should see it with more like philosophy, like I trained a lot, I did very well against him, next time I will get in, I guess. And uh, then I played in loser bracket against Dugura, yeah. which is Bison. Bison is a matchup I know the most in the game, thanks to Problemix, because we play each other a lot. And I was very, very confident about this win against him. Let's go back to Fudo for just a second here. Like having mentioned that, you know, he always had your number in previous tournaments and getting so close here. Do you consider that uh, a little bit of a moral victory in that you were able to train and, and, and have a better result at least against uh, Fudo here? Yeah, it's always good to see you improving. I mean, it's not like he, he beat me 3-0, which was pretty close to it because he was winning 2-0. Then had one round for the free ode and I came back, but that really mean this now. Can you take us through what you like after he w w was up 2-0. What was going on in your mind and how did you change your game plan? Uh, I didn't really change my game plan because it's it's really hard to 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 change your game plan to your gameplay right off the bat, especially in a matchup you don't really know. So I just stayed with my typical strategy, mm -hmm. tried a little to play a little bit bit more safe and that works. Okay. Mm -hmm. What was it about uh, the matchup with Dogura and particular Bison uh, that was so comfortable for you? You cruised with a 3-0 win. Yeah, this matchup was very comfortable for me. Uh, it's a matchup I know very, very well and he doesn't have a lot of experience himself against Mika. So I, just, I think, uh, yeah, I beat him 3-0. He only take one round. I was very confident about this match. And, but my next match is going to be hard. So now you're going to await the winner of Big Bird and Phenom. Uh, yeah, the, the loser, pardon me, you await the loser of Big Bird and Phenom. Uh, what do you make of that? Is there a preference for you? Uh, Big Bird and Phenom, it's a tough call. I don't know who is going to win, I don't know who is going to lose. Uh, but uh, if I ha would have a preference, I would have... I think I want to play Big Bird because Phenom, we play a lot each other and it's very hard for me to, to read him. I don't know what's going through his mind in defense. I, I really have a hard time like predicting what he's going to do in defense. Big Bird is a li little bit easier, even if, even if uh, the matchup is hard. But I prefer to play against Big Bird as a player than Phenom. Uh, give us some thoughts on the, uh, the tournament here overall, just watching some of the other matchups. Who has looked really good to you so far? Uh, so, so far, this, this first round was... There was a lot of upset already, like Bonchan losing to Smug, Fujimura losing to Aidom, Gachikun losing to Takeuchi. Uh, there was a lot of upset. I think, like, from the match I've seen, the most informed was Punk. He, was a, he had a very convincing win against Zenit, and even his play, they were, it was flawless. Uh, it was perfect. I think Punk is in form today. We, uh, on our uh, ESPN Esports pre-show, we talked a lot about, you know, the differences between the Capcom Cup and EVO and how in EVO you have a few rounds to get your bearings and, and you know, rev the engine a little bit. But here you hit the ground running and you, and you play top-level competition right away. Uh, do you personally have a preference? Uh, do you prefer competing in Capcom Cup or do you prefer competing somewhere like EVO? I prefer, uh, personally, I prefer competing at EVO. Uh, there is more player, as you said, you, you get more round to get the engine started bef before getting one top player. Uh, and uh, there is less preparation time as well because the bracket is not really known. In Capcom Cup, the bracket is known, so everyone can prepare, can prepare well for the first match. And, uh, but yeah, I prefer EVO. EVO is, uh, for me, I think it's way harder to win. Because there is a lot of, you play more round, 
you don't know who you're gonna play. Uh, it's a tough day as well. Like you have to play for two, three days. It's it's harder to win. And uh, but that's a kind of format I like. <laughs> Last question for you. Uh, there are 15 of uh, Japanese representatives in this tournament. I want to talk about the European scene. Uh, where, what is the health of the European scene of Street Fighter in 2019 going into 2020? The European scene is in a very good position right now. We have a very, very strong showing this year at Capcom Cup. Uh, like uh, we were six European players. Um, and. Uh, the, the, the Europe are often doing well uh, as well in like in big tournaments. Like we see Problem X, Me, Phenom, Big Bird, Angry Bird, Infectious, which which are very strong in tournament. Uh, so yeah, the next year is, is looking pretty good. Luffy is battling currently in the 2019 Capcom Cup Losers Bracket. All the best to you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you so much.